Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It is Wednesday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening and tonight we are talking politicians, two in particular, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak. Um, today, as I said earlier, I, I was off work again today and then I hurted my thumb. So it's in a brace, I don't know what I've done to it, but ooh, painful if I try and do that with it, just no. So I have been a poor wee soul today, so obviously I've been reading on the computer. And <clears throat> we have the reports of Boris Johnson being on Nadine Doris's talk show. Why does that not surprise anyone? And basically, as far as I can see from the reports, what he's done is he's blustered and said, I absolutely, there's no way I would have had parties in Downing Street if I knew they were breaking lockdown regulations. Um, do you know, anyone that thinks that is just rubbish. Do you know, there's no way. 126 tickets were issued by the police about breach of lockdown rules in that time. In Downing Street. 126 tickets. Don't try and tell me that the Prime Minister who lived there didn't know that something was happening and that it was against the rules. I just don't believe it at all. <clears throat> I think it's ridiculous. Um, but no, he's there saying that no rules were broken and anyone who thinks that he would have done such a thing is, is just talking rubbish. Um, but I've noticed he seems to be getting quite a bit of publicity just now. Some of it quite positive. Are we forgetting that he was ousted as Prime Minister because of the scandals that were going on while he was in office? That seems to have just been brushed under the carpet. Hmm. Wonder why that is. And as for Mr Sunak, the current Prime Minister, um, <clears throat> Obviously, we've had the Nadim Zahawi problems. There is now more information coming up about Dominic Raab, who has had formal complaints made against him regarding his behaviour at work. And again, this comes down to wording, and it irks me so much when you can tell how careful number 10 is being with its language. Now, what is it? The Prime Minister was not aware of any formal complaints against Dominic Raab when he appointed him. However, number 10 are refusing to say if he was aware of any informal complaints. So they're quite happy to say, oh, Prime Minister did not know of any formal complaints against Mr Raab. That's fine. So there was no formal complaints at that time, possibly. Or even if there was, they probably hadn't made it as far as the Prime Minister at that time. However, you're not telling me, with the number of complaints against Dominic Grab just now, that there were not words going around Downing Street about his behaviour. There is no way Cabinet did not know. So, you know, this being very careful with your wording just shows how much they're trying to hide. You know, if you're hiding something, you're very, very specific with your wording. If you're not, then you'll just chat to someone and say, no, there was nothing. But to specify, he was not aware of any formal complaints, but to refuse to say anything about informal complaints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes, that's that's my thing for the moment, is that... Do you know, Boris Johnson getting positive publicity after he was ousted as Prime Minister because of the scandals. And now he's starting to deny all knowledge of the parties in, in Downing Street during lockdown. He was standing there with a drink in his hand. Do not give me your rubbish. Honestly. And of course, as I've said before, very specific wording makes me very suspicious. So there you go. That is my, my thoughts for this evening. So I shall go now and I shall get a cup of tea and I shall catch you later.